Actually, no, that's stupid. What am I doing? Today, we're gonna talk about some of the viral TikTok beauty products that I've tried. TikTok made me buy it. Uh, hashtag, I need to stop spending my money. Let's talk about what was a hit, what was a f so before we get into this video, I wanted to say very clearly I am not a professional and these are just some of my personal experiences. So I don't want anyone in the comments attacking me for not knowing the ingredients. Sol de Janeiro spray. I'm not a perfume expert and I haven't actually had that many fragrances, but I think they're good and I always get complimented on how I smell. Specifically this one. I think this one's the best. 71 is definitely my favorite. 40 is also good. I don't like this one as much. And for some reason I have this in the biggest size. I don't know. I think I, I kind of just got it because it was pink and I was like you know what it's pink so I'm gonna get the biggest size. I also have the pink one in cream form. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't like this. I have both. But it's pink. So, you know, that's that's a reason for me to get them in my book. I would say the creams are actually better than the sprays. I've heard some people say that the scent is less strong. I would disagree. I think it's the opposite. The scent is stronger in the creams and lasts longer. Oh, Drunk Beauty. <laughs> yeah. Drunk Elephant <laughs> Moisturizer. I already used mine up. I still have the packaging and I just refilled it with some cheap drugstore <laughs> lotion because like I'm not spending 60 bucks on moisturizer again. The moisturizer was so mediocre and it, I felt like it was too heavy on my skin. I like a lightweight moisturizer. I do love the packaging. That's the whole reason I think everyone's going crazy for it. Glow Recipe. There's this one girl, Katie Fang, who does like her get ready with me videos. Love watching those. She's like known for using this at the start of her video. I got this actually way before I saw her videos. I actually bought this on sale because I thought the packaging was cute. And then like a month later, I find out that everyone wants this. I got this with the nighttime treatment. I do really like the way they both feel on my skin. Not much to say. Pretty packaging. Feels nice on my, my skin is a win in my book. But if you're looking for something like really to mix a huge change in your skin. I don't know if this is it for you because it doesn't- I don't think it does too much. Next up are the Jisoo hair products. So I've been seeing a lot about Jisoo. Back. I don't want to drop any of these because this one's glass. I have mixed feelings. Leave in conditioner. I love this. I really do use this every single time I wash my hair. It genuinely like healed my hair and made it a lot smoother. When I stopped using this, I noticed that my hair was a lot dry. Like there was just noticeable difference. I think this was actually a good product. Definitely did something. Like I noticed change when I stopped using it. The hair oil. I have a love-hate with this thing. It does make your hair really nice and shiny. The way my hair feels after I put this in, like brush my fingers through, oh my god. It is incredible. The packaging makes me cry. It, it's so oily. I can't- I'm like scared of holding this. I feel like it would fall off my hands. But I've heard a lot of like professional people say that it just- it doesn't do much. On a deeper level, it doesn't help your hair, so... Hmm, I don't know. Then this is the honey infused hair mask. I literally don't use it, so I can't say anything about it. I don't use it. I'm too lazy to use hair masks. I just condition my hair normally. I kind of just keep this in my room because I like the packaging and I never take it to the shower with me. I can't comment on it then. My lights keep changing color when I'm filming. I want to cry every time this happens. These are the serums I have. My favorite one out of these, the Myra Marine, blah, 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 Marine Hyaluronics. I love this one. I love this more than that hyaluronic acid, which got a lot of attention for like, I don't know why. I like this one more. Reason being, it's not as thick and sticky. With the hyaluronic acid, you have to use water in combination with it. It's really thick and sticky and I don't love the way it feels. It is very hydrating though, but it's just like so, so hydrating. I like this. It's, it's also, it feels very nice, but less like thick and suffocating. Caffeine solution was... Did nothing basically. The peeling solution, I think I used this wrong because I remember when I used it afterwards my skin felt like raw. I don't know how else to explain it, it just felt raw. The niacinamide was terrible. It broke me out so bad. I heard so many good reviews like, Oh my gosh, niacinamide. It 
made my skin glow. I was like Edward from Twilight. I was like sparkling and healed all my acne. I had no pores. I was hearing all these good things, but it did not deliver. It didn't deliver. In fact, made me break out like crazy. Milk makeup. I have the contour stick and the primer. This thing, insane. I love this primer. I get the hype. It is amazing. Go buy it right now. There's a visible difference when you use this under your makeup. Definitely worth it. The contour stick. I don't like the shade I got. It looks like <laughs> the Laneige lip mask. Not gonna lie. I think they're like pretty decent products. I think it's worth it to be honest because they last really long. I've had this for more than a year. Still going strong. I haven't even used half of it and I use it every single day and night. It smells really good. The packaging just feels really luxurious and cute. Even if it like doesn't do anything apart from being like a regular lip balm, it makes me feel fancy. So I'd say it was worth it. Let's talk about Pixie. I have these two. These are like the Hello Kitty collection. I did in fact buy these only because they were Hello Kitty. Embarrassing. And I also have the eye patches. So these two things do absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. Worth it? Probably not, but the packaging is cute. The eye patches, I don't think they do anything, but I do love the way they feel. Give it a try. Why not? <laughs> Viral in the K-beauty community, the Cozarex products. The snail mucin is like the really popular one, and for a good reason. It is a total slay. I love it. I don't know, it doesn't do anything, but it just feels incredible. It's so, it feels so nice on your skin. And the blackhead remover, I don't use it consistently. Mario Badescu. Their products are either really flop or like a total slay. They were famous on TikTok for a while, like during that Visco era. I think they got canceled. I have these two. To be honest, I don't use them. They're just <laughs> they're just there. I don't use them. I do have one good thing to say. Their drying lotion is an absolute major huge slay. I'm not even kidding. I've bought this like three times and it genuinely makes a difference. It makes the swelling go away and it feels so refreshing. It like cools things down. This is the silver powder. Feels incredible and the way my black has just disappear whenever I use this. The only downside to this is that it's so, so messy. Let me show you. The inside is like white powder. It looks kind of sus. You mix it with water and then you put it on, like, I put it on my nose and my T-zone because it's for, like, oil control. I can't even move my face after putting it on because if I make any, like, minuscule facial movement, the powder would be, like, coming off. Like, it would look like snowflake. Dior lip product. Like, I see those everywhere. I totally just brought them because they're cute and I love the pack. <laughs> this is me for every single product I buy. I only buy it because of the packaging. I would say the lip oil is actually kind of a slay. It feels really nice. So far it's been lasting pretty well. I've had it for a while and I do use it almost every day and there's still a lot in it. I'd say it's good but it's not worth 40 bucks either way. Like no lip gloss is worth 40 bucks. Even if it's really cute. I, I don't regret buying it, but I wouldn't buy it again. It's, it's just so expensive for what? It's Dior, I get it, but like... This is the lip scrub. I got this because I had the e.l.f. lip scrub and I really liked it. I ran out, so I decided to get a new one and I got this Dior one. It doesn't do anything. It's just, it's really mediocre. Wouldn't buy again. Wouldn't recommend either. Rare Beauty. They're like my everyday like essentials. I have the blush. Oh my god, I'm actually running out. What if I run out? I would cry. The one dot theory with the Rare Beauty blushes apparently doesn't apply to the one I have because I'm using multiple dots and it still doesn't look great. I think it's just because the shade I got wasn't great. This is the shade Bliss. This is really good, however. This is their highlighter. It's the liquid one and it's in shade Enlighten. It's so pretty, but it's not that good for blend. But overall, it's a really nice color and it really gives an amazing glow. NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I really like the black one. I use this all the time for like a eyeliner moment. The white one is also pretty decent, but I don't actually think it gives you a nice highlight. Doesn't look natural. Don't love it in the waterline either. It's just not it for me. This sunscreen. Major flaw. Made me break out, not it. Clinique Black Honey is a total slay. I just had to add that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. When I'm posting this, I'm probably in a different country. This was just filmed in a rush. Thank you for watching. Here are my socials. Follow me and subscribe. 
I feel like from now on, at the end of every video, I'll just have like a little section where I'm editing and talking. So I wanted to say thank you for 10,000. That is insane. Thank you so much. I started this channel like three weeks ago and we've already made it this far. I got monetized. I got so much support and it's kind of crazy. Thank you all for watching my videos.